What kind of advice do you want to give to somebody who's who's coming into the industry? What, you know, how how will they succeed? Uh, to my team, my younger team, my first thing is try to get as much exposure to whatever you can. So don't shy away if there's something that scares you. You know, try, try, try. And if you struggle and you have issues, come and see me. Yeah. Um, so that would be my per first piece of advice, right? Um, I hate to say don't say no. Um, but in terms of like, say we had some sort of project and it involved IT, but we're marketing. I got a lot of exposure by being parts of those more, you know, multifunctional cross departmental teams, right? Where I was exposed to operations IT, sales, so not just marketing. Um, the other thing I think for anyone is build your network, right? Yeah. Build your network. Um, we talked about it at ERA when we did our panel together, but yeah. LinkedIn is a perfect place to do that online, um, but also look for opportunities when there are things going on locally. If um, ERA has a local event, go. If yeah. CIA has a local event, Go. If Women in Electronics has a local event, go. Yeah. Um, so, you know, don't shy away. Don't think that you're not worthy of going because you're new, right? I, I probably felt a little bit like that early on. Like, I don't know if I should be be here or do I belong here? And, yeah. and, and in retrospect, who wouldn't belong there, right? You're yeah. there to learn and get exposure and to meet people. So, yeah. And, and those and, are and, two pieces of advice that I would try to give. Good. Yeah. What, what about a mentor? Is that something you have used in your career? I have a ton of mentors, um, but never in a organized setting. Um, my boss is a mentor. He's my sponsor. Um, yeah. All of my colleagues I've learned from and they've all helped me build my network by giving me exposure to the people that they work directly with. Yeah. Um, and then I got involved. Right. And I'm actually now mentoring as part of the women in electronics. Group. Yeah. So this is my first time officially mentoring. Um, although I feel I've I've done what was, you know, given to me. I've tried to reproduce that in my own informal ways. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of interesting to be part of a formal program now to and to see it from the mentor side of things. Um yeah. And from anything I've heard, the the mentor learns just as much as the mentee. Yeah, so that was my next one, right? If, yeah. if you want to regroup in a few yeah. months, you know we can come back and do this again. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but that that that's what I heard from from a lot of people, where they're saying, yeah, it's not just one way, right? It's actually both ways. Um, and it, and I think that's critical. And what I'd like to see here, um, you know, so Sager was always great at identifying young talent and developing it, and then those those the telecom bus, like they were those two downturns that really, really hurt us. And then yeah. we, we were lean, right? So we we did away with some of that. And and now there's this effort in both the sales and marketing sides of the business. And I, you know, I think also probably in operations as well, but I'm close, more close to the sales leadership um, where we're all trying to do that, right? Identify, yeah. find young talent, bring it in, identif identify what they're strong at, um, and try to give them a path. We need it. We need it. We need it. If you like Mind Innovation, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and share the show wherever you get your podcast. You can follow Senna Vinding and Mind Innovation on Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And make sure to check out mindinnovation.com. Stay curious and keep learning. See you next time.